Hello everybody, this is Sailor7 and welcome to, to another episode inside of FNAF World. Seeing as we've been doing Minecraft for a while, I thought why not do FNAF World. Oh god. Uh, sorry. Got, um... Something that hurts in my mouth. Uh... I forgot what it's called, but I'm honking Freddy's nose, because that happens every episode. Now let's cook start. And, oh god, that's so disturbing. Anyway, slot three, continue. And, yeah, so this is my party at the moment. First party for, um... Number one, Phantom Foxy, level 11. Um, number two, Wither Freddy, uh, Freddy, level three. Uh, blah, blah, love, uh, oh my gosh. Three is Withered Bonnie, level nine. Oh god, I can't speak because of that thing. And four is Chica, level 15. Second party, one is Bonnie, level 15. Two is Tweety Chica. Level 15, 3 is Toy Bonnie, level 15, and 4 is JJ, level 12. God, so sorry about the recording. I hate speaking with this thing. Hey, Spring Bonnie. You're a pretty OP character. Male, female, it's a rabbit, who cares? Well. I'm gonna get tell you guys why I think it's a female. I mean, male. Because Spring Bonnie is a mix of Springtrap, who's male, and Bonnie, who's male. So how could he be female? I mean, I know the eyelashes and... Yep, I-Beam has a critical chance of doing 1,000 damage. Yep. But once you get it, once we get into very OP worlds, our characters will be doing like I don't know, three thousand, four thousand damage per hit, and it seems like we have to defeat Bouncer again. E, this is never good. Why did I do jump scare? That's never good. Uh, hoping for the critical. Um, uh, toxic fight. Mike Toss, which is like 21 damage, oh great. Pizza wheels, cupcake. Okay, we're doing better than last episode. Um, Gloom Song, I Beam, Cupcake, Toxic Bite, Gloom Song. It does 81 damage if it doesn't do a critical or around the 80, so it's fine. Um, my toss does like 21. I beam, toss fight. Hey, um, that was a lot more smoother. Um, no characters have died, and we're all gonna level up, which is always great. Um, now today we're going to be going through this glitched object. We found the clock, right? I want to make sure. Yeah, and also I said that I was going to defeat that one boss at the at uh, the beginning of this episode, which we didn't have time to beat at the end of the last episode. And yes, we got the clock. So I'm gonna do that, and then we'll have a new chip. Hey, metal man, to by I beam song you know what let's just go mad past you I'm gonna try to get some instant kill attacks on screw it has a chance to instant kill them escape key has a chance to instant kill them and so does unscrew 2 so by the way um unscrew 30% chance to kill somebody um unscrew 2 50% chance to kill somebody escape key can kill many people at once but I have no idea of the percentage so yeah, this boss up here, and I think it's a very good chip. So this is ISO. 
once again. There's going to be a lot of fights with the series, but this one's stronger, I think. Um, Cupcake. He doesn't do much damage to us, though, so this should be a tough fight. Um, Bloom Song. Um, I Beam. Oh, we got the critical. Okay, now this is going to be easy. Oh, yeah, he has unscrew. Of course you do. Alright, well, there he goes. One rip. But that was because of unscrew, so it should be fine. Hello? Okay. Just want to make sure that my mic is fine. Also, my grandmother's at my house at the moment. I hope she doesn't come calling for something. Anyways, yes, auto gift boxes. So, every single one of my party members has one extra life. So, if they die, they come back to life. And later on, we're going to get some characters that can generate more gift boxes. So, definitely swapping that out. And I also need to find some more, like the endless, endless strength and defense. I think I know where they are. I think they're like up here and up here and two of them we have to go to the mine up here which requires us to go through that glitched object that takes us here talk to a threadbare threadbare go up the little gear lake get there then go all the way up here that's the chipper boss but we I mean we'll defeat him later because he's a boss and he's super hard he's like what if the end of bosses are I should really talk, talk about a breath <sighs> sorry about the cough um, at least it was only one. Corey, unscrew you. Bye. That attack is so OP. I think that screw two is probably one of the most OP attacks. Anyway, so, um... Now, let's go... I'll have control like little Freddy again. Haven't done this in a while. By the way, it's the same controls as in Minecraft W, A, S, and D. Um... In case you want to download FNAF World yourself, it is free. Um, it used. Um, yeah, I could. I might make a video on how to download it on my iPad and upload that. Um, in case you guys want FNAF World, I mean, I can record as many videos on the iPad as as many as I want to on the computer. At most one per day because I have a uh, limited screen time after two hours my screen time goes out and I cannot use my computer anymore so yeah fair to foxy leveled up awesome all right here and we are ready to go to this glitched object that we're back at the glitch world see how it's kind of like a Freddy so this is actually based on the old style of the game while well, the game was still only on Steam and I think you had to buy it and it was the older version where the overworld, the trees would literally look like this and you would look like this, just not in a glitch world, you know, you'd be like brown and the trees would be really like green and brown there, you know, so. And you could also like move diagonally um, in the old version, just like you can in the glitch world, you can no longer do that. And I think you have to go up, I think. Yeah, up, and look, it's a glitched world inside of a glitch world, which brings us to this glitch world. <coughs> now I have to readjust my bike because I just moved it out the way to cough, which you guys probably already, which you guys probably heard that anyway, so... Then I have to go through this thing, enter this glitch world, go up here, and go into the fire. See what I mean? These, this is only, this is still like what if the first glitched object that it's already a little bit complicated for some people. But wait until we get to the other glitch objects. And boom, world four, which brings us right here. And now we're very close to Fredbear. You've reached Lily Gear Lake. From here, I don't know where your adventures will take you. They will take us to the Mines Pinwheel Circus and the Graveyard. Spoiler alert. 
you should be keeping your eyes open for another glitched object. They are the only way to get to places that are otherwise unreachable. Be careful in the waters of Lilligir Lake. I hear that there is a sea monster that attacks at random. Be ready to fight. Good luck. But this I don't get. Doesn't like every mob in this game attack at a random time? Except bosses, I guess. Yes, well, everything attacks at random, doesn't it? <laughs> The one who pulls the strings is always watching. He allows you to progress. Follow the trail that they have created for you. Play along. There's another mine you have to... Uh, yeah. Um, five o'clock. Blah, 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 Looks like he's barfing. Oh, well. See what I mean? His belly looks like it's made out of Play-Doh. Foxy. I don't know why. And hey, we're on the boat and look at the music and look at their lips. Wait, look. Look at their lips. Like they're thick. They're doing math. They're math class, guys. And nobody likes math class, so let's put them out of their misery. No offense to teachers. I mean, yeah, we love math. Just to hurt your brain sometimes. We're not good at it. But we're children. When we're young adults, we're, uh, I don't know. Some people are okay, some people are already good. And as adults, you should be good at math, or otherwise your life is like a danger. Um, yeah. Lessons, children. Lessons. And I should really just bust out the unscrews and stuff. Unscrews. Oh, yeah, look, that killed, um, I think, Chica. She was under 30% health, so the water hose killed her. But we got the gift boxes, so it don't matter. Bye. Water hose! Nope. Fast jam! Unscrew! Awesome. And they're gonna get the levels. Okay, we're well, Freddy leveled up. Always oh, cool. He's like singing. Oh! A new challenger! It's Phantom Mangle! Phantom Mangle, Phantom Mangle, Phantom Mangle, Phantom Mangle, boom. Unscrewed. You're already unscrewed. You're a mess. Because the kids tore you up. No offense. But yeah, Phantom Mangle have Toxic Bite, Mystery Box, and Pizza Wheel 2. Pizza Wheel 2, larger pizzas, more damage. Mystery Box swaps out your characters for random characters and talks by, well, same thing, uh, this dude right here has. Maybe Toy Bonnie? Yeah, Toy Bonnie, Phantom Mangle is in. We have to level Phantom Mangle up, though. That's very important, because he's just gonna die. So, yeah, we definitely gotta get the second team some more levels so the Fed to Mangle could be at least like level 7. I don't know. How about level 11? Because that rhymes with 7. Kinda. Oh no, wait, no. 7. Oh, oh yeah, this is Seagoo. This is the boss that attacks at random. So, guys, say hello to Seagoo. Um, he has quite a lot of health. He has his tentacles flying any everywhere, kinda like a. Uh, he kind of reminds me of Ibalistic Squid, but without the eyebrows and teeth. Um, and Ibalistic's eyes are, like, white to black, not black and white. Um, Toxic Bite. Oh, great. One of our team members is dead. Wait, they had Mr. Box and they died? Oh, well, that's worrying. Um, well, I'll show you guys what I mean. Actually, wait, no. Yeah, they have the power-ups as well. That's always good. So we can heal more. Um, our eye beams can do more. And our toxic bites can do more. Eye beam. Toxic bite. We're like halfway through with one dead team member. We don't even have to heal ourselves for some reason. Oh, come on. Now we do. Um, cupcake. Should have waited a little while, but oh well. You know what? Let's just switch. Fight! Balloons! 
pizza wheel! Look at those pizzas! You're making me hungry. They have, uh... Pepperoni, cheese... Uh, I don't know what else. It's kind of hard to see. So those green bits. You know, those, like, green lettuce or something. Anyway, so actually... So now he's defeated until, like... Restart the game. So we could go through this whirlpool, which makes a funny no a noise. Um, anyway, so this brings us to the tent that brings us to Pinwheel Circus, which is this area right here, but we can't go any farther than this until we go through a glitch object to get there. That glitch object is in the graveyard, and we have to find a glitched object that is near the mine to get to the graveyard. This game is so confusing, this glitched object. Um, escape key. We're not really ready for these guys yet, so let's just insta try to insta kill them. Unscrew. Let's use JJ's unscrew with water hose. Um, happy jam. Uh, pizza wheel 2. Look at those pizzas that unscrew. Alright, uh. Escape key. Oh, right, there we go. Eventually it happened. But wow, that really levels us up, doesn't it? Because they're like way above our level. Um, yay, we could get the UFO! Hmm. Wow, we don't have like any bites. I forgot to buy any. Um, the UFO is actually really good, so let's do that. Oh god. That music reminds me of something, but I don't know what it is. Um, also, there's a f f final boss in normal mode, security owl, but we're in hard mode, so after security owl, we have to defeat the puppet master. Who's allowing us to progress and you know stuff like that 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 dude talks about I mean Fred Bear, so yeah. And they're dead. So as you can see, uh before we enter the tent, this part right here is actually Choppy's Woods. So we're fighting like Choppy's Woods monsters right here. And we don't really wanna fight the monsters so we see crab apples! I have a feeling that came from Adam Apple. Your Adam's Apple. Um, but again, I have no idea. Okay, one said. Oh, screw. You're dead. Well, you're unscrewed. You're now in the ocean. Haha, <laughs> we got a lily pad. Because in the old version where, you know, it did a, the graphics were as fancy, you were on a lily pad. So that's why you are on a lily pad in the battles. I have a lot of history of that world. Unscrew. Cupcake. Unscrew two. Escape key. Okay, finally one of them died. Unscrew. There we go. Wouldn't it be cool if there was like an unscrew three eighty percent chance to kill an enemy? So there's. 30, 50, and 80. Why 80? Because 50 plus 30. That could be cool. Um, party favors. Unscrew. Escape key. We killed two of them. Unscrew two. We killed another one. And, uh, JJ, can I get sure? It's going to water hose. Nice. You won't even level up, will you, Phantom Mangle? You won't. Um, anyways, no, we don't have the key yet, so yeah. Um, anyways, what are we doing? This video's been 19 minutes. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize. Oh, well, guys. There we go. We're gonna finish this episode off by getting... The Run Luck Chip! So now we can run away from battles because we're cowards. And let's do the head start to. F 
yeah, there we go. No head start strikes. We can always do like a party favors or something. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Side of FNAF World. I'm gonna save and I'm gonna press F2 and. Thank you everybody very much for watching this episode of FNAF World. I really hope you have enjoyed and I'll see you all later.